Welcome back to Health and Wellness. I'm Will, nurse practitioner, and today I'm gonna let you know how you can become a nurse practitioner too, like me. So if that interests you, keep watching. Clear. So before I even start out, I just wanna emphasize that there are multiple different pathways to becoming an RN as well as an NP. So I'm gonna be outlining the most traditional method of how you can become a nurse practitioner. But understand that there is some variation there. So step number one is to obtain your RN education. Now, usually this is in the form of a BSN or a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. So for many people, that involves going to a four-year degree, obtaining your BSN, learning how to assess your patients and to assist in management of their care. And throughout your RN program, you're gonna be putting in somewhere between 800 to 1,000 hours of clinicals in the hospital, learning to be a bedside nurse. Step number two is to obtain RN work experience. Now this point is a little bit contentious depending on who you ask. Some people seem to think that you need at least a year, two years, sometimes five years of RN experience before you should go back and get your nurse practitioner. Honestly, this is highly debated and there's no direct evidence that proves that X amount of RN experience means that you're X amount better as a nurse practitioner. However, I do think RN experience is very important as your development as a future nurse practitioner. As an RN, you're gonna learn so much in the first few years of nursing, and honestly, indefinitely. You're going to be seeing so many different medical conditions and firsthand administering the treatment. You're going to be advancing your assessment skills and communication skills with both your patient as well as the physicians or the other healthcare professionals. And really understanding how everything works in and out of the hospital is going to be invaluable. Now, most NP programs will not require a minimum amount of experience as an RN, at least when we're talking about FNP or family nurse practitioner. More specialized programs like acute care nurse practitioner usually does require at least one to two years of RN experience working in the ICU or another acute care setting. My personal recommendation would be somewhere between one and five years of full-time RN experience before you even start your nurse practitioner program. And then once you're in your NP program, preferably to work throughout it in some capacity. So step number three is gonna be your nurse practitioner program. So obviously you need to apply and get into your NP program, some of which will require a GRE. Overall, I wouldn't say it's terribly difficult to get into an NP program, it just depends which one. Most NP programs offer both MSN and DNP routes, or masters and doctorate level programs. Most MSN programs will take between two and three years to complete, and doctorate programs will take somewhere between three and four years. And the difference between those two is a completely separate video in and of itself. Now the curriculum you learn is going to depend on the specialty that you pick. So when you enter a nurse practitioner program, you have to apply to a specific patient population specialty. There's FNPs who work across the spectrum from birth to death. There's adult gerontological primary care nurse practitioner who works primarily with adults in the outpatient setting. And then there's adult gerontological acute care nurse practitioner who works primarily with adults in the inpatient setting, such as the ICUs. Emergency nurse practitioners who work primarily in the ED or urgent cares. Psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner who works in both inpatient and outpatient psychiatric settings. Women's health nurse practitioners who work both inpatient and outpatient in OBGYN units or offices. Pediatric nurse practitioners who work with children in inpatient and outpatient settings. And neonatal nurse practitioners who you can usually find in the NICU. Which Whatever specialty you do choose, you're going to have both didactic or lecture-based material as well as clinical-based material. So you'll likely take classes like advanced pathophysiology, advanced health assessment, advanced pharmacology, and then you'll take multiple classes outlining the assessment, diagnosis, and clinical management of specific disease processes in your specific patient population. Just like in your RN program, you're also going to have to complete clinicals in the NP program, and this ranges from between 600 to 800 hours depending on the program. A common misunderstanding is that during these clinical rotations, you're just observing or shadowing the doctor or the nurse practitioner that you're following, that's your preceptor. But during clinicals, you're not just gonna be observing. You're gonna be taking health histories, performing the physical assessment, going over the patient with your preceptor, and then formulating a plan together. This is super important for connecting the dots and helping you become a great nurse practitioner. This is where the real learning comes in. And by the time you graduate, you should hopefully feel at least a little comfortable seeing patients on your own. Most RNs typically work at least part-time throughout their NP programs. And this helps continue to bring in money as well as connect the dots and 
take what you're learning in the book and in the classroom and in clinicals and apply it to the patients that you're actually seeing in the hospitals. Not that you will be diagnosing them or, or ordering treatments, but it really does help. So once you pass your NP program and officially graduate, you can finally become a nurse practitioner. But you first have to take a board certification exam to prove that you know what you're doing. Now these exams are offered both through the AANP and the ANCC, and I have a whole other video on that that you can check out above. But once you pass the national certifying exam, you are nationally certified as a nurse practitioner, and you can apply for state licensure in your specific state or the states which you plan on practicing. Once you have your license, you really just need to find a job within your scope of practice, apply, get the job, and then get credentialed, which FYI takes a very long time. So plan for that. Plan three to six months to get credentialed. And I have an article about how to get credentialed as a nurse practitioner, all the steps involved that I'll link down below. And there you go. After seven plus years of hard work, dedication, you can be a nurse practitioner too. All right, so what are you waiting for? Get out there and become an NP. It's awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please check out my other videos, subscribe, and check out my blog down below. As always, get out there and save some lives.